I think what, we're, what we have done this evening has been to restate our commitment to the Olympic spirit, which is about uh, excellence, competition, fair play, and unity. This is an opportunity to showcase the very best that Nigeria has to the world. And for us, blessing, Okagbere is the best in her areas you know, of, of interest, largely the 100 meters and of course the um, long jump. So how much is this costing in general? I mean, considering the ten, um, uh, the ten lucky winners that have just emerged tonight, and the whole sponsorship and expenses being paid abroad. No, when you give back to the society, you don't look at the cost. It's not about how much it costs us. It's rewarding loyalty. That is what is important. We are not looking at the cost. These are the people that have made First Bank successful, and we are just rewarding them for their loyalty. So the cost to us is not as important as expressing the appreciation that we should show for their consistency and for their loyalty. That is what counts. Expectations at the end of the day? Well, First Bank will always be you know, looking forward to bigger, bigger, bigger things you know, around. So we expect that Blessing will come back with gold. That's very important. Then Team Nigeria will also excel, do far better than they did at the last Olympics. That's our expectation, and we are proud to be associated with uh, NOC and with Blessing in particular. I'm going to go out there, not just as, as an ambassador, as the Blessing I am, to represent my country, my fans, to do my best. And I hope my best is good enough to please my fans, my country, and also First Bank that has made me an ambassador. Um, as an organization, we think more in terms of the experience that people have with First Bank, of which the product is part of that, and our service is clearly a bigger part of that. But more so, the spirit of the Olympics, which is what our staff typify, is really why we're supporting this, and that's what um, we're celebrating. Now, with regards to the Olympic winners themselves, the way this works out is we ran, like I said, a savings promo. We did the draws in April. The savings promo is still continuing. It will end in um, December and there are other gifts to be won. But because we needed time to work out visas and logistics for the people traveling, we needed to do um, the draws in April. We worked very closely with the British High uh, Commission who had said to us that April was the cutoff date because they needed, to pro 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 um, 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 they needed to manage a lot of visas for a lot of people. So what we have is we have a team who have emerged. We're very pleased to take them out to the UK. We're very pleased to take them to go and watch um, certain selected um, activities out there. But over and beyond the Olympics, we'll also show them the sights and sounds of London. So what should Nigerians and diaspora in terms of your products now watch out for at the, uh, the London um, Olympic vibe? For Nigerians in diaspora, we have a diaspora banking product. We talk about safe home banking. You have a lot of uh, Nigerians out in diaspora who would like to invest back in Nigeria, who would like to invest in real estate, they want to own their own homes. A lot of people want to come back eventually. The bank to partner with to do that is First Bank for one single reason. We've been around for 118 years or thereabouts. We will be around whenever you choose to return to Nigeria. So in terms of safety of your funds, the first bank that you think of is First Bank. So we've created this product for them. That means that they can open their own accounts and they can manage their own accounts. Imagine if you wanted to send home to a relative, if you wanted to uh, send home to a, a younger one who was in school, you run it through this bank account without thinking of doing transfers and so on.